We're going to be reacting to the prop journalist. The funded trader has a huge problem. I wonder what it is. The funded trader is one of the largest evaluation firms in the world, with over $150 million paid out and a huge customer base. But recently, TFT has been experiencing a lot of serious issues. You don't say, mate. What are these? I hope this email finds you well. We regret to inform you that through a review of your trading activities, we have observed behavior that goes against our established trading policies. Established trading policies? Whoa. You mean the hidden rules? Oh, yes, of course. Um, but maybe these were legit. Who knows? Uh, unfortunately, your withdrawal request has been rejected. Customer banned. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay, let's continue. Experiencing a lot of serious issues from payout denials. Prop firm journalists found this one as well. Nice. That have made negative customer reviews shoot up in the past two months. In this video, I'll explain the problems TFT has been facing, their response to the issues, and what this means for prop firm traders going forwards. Let's start with the biggest issue payout denials. There have been endless reports. Arguably, the biggest issue, I think. Just the banning and breaching accounts for no reason is a little bit even worse, but... ...reports of payout denials for TFT on social media, significantly more than other firms of its size have experienced. These denials were often for unclear reasons or simply no reason at all, meaning traders that have fairly earned payouts were essentially getting scammed by TFT. Essentially getting scammed. Pretty much, yeah, you're right. What is this? You punt, you gamble, you get denied. Simple. What a joke. <laughs> wow, I can't believe they said that. Whoa. Okay. He's made this really well. Really good editing. Uh, he's got he's got a lot of good proof right here. Very good video so far. Angelo, the owner of TFT, decided to address the payout denial issue with transparency, hosting a community update live stream. However, this didn't help TFT's case much, as their own stats showed that around 10% of all payouts were rejected. Whoa, I didn't know this. I had no idea. So, approved 9 million, rejected 1.3 million. Wow. And in February, yeah, it's 10%. 10% are getting rejected. Their own stats showed that around 10% of all payouts were rejected totaling over $2 million of rejected payouts in January and February alone. In the same live stream, Angelo explained that the team was auditing all delayed payouts, with the aim for them to be sorted in two to four weeks. But even if all delayed payouts are sent... So wait a second, two to four weeks, and this was in February, so I guess he didn't follow through on that. Huge portion of customers may never get a payout due to denials. On the 21st, TFT sent a tweet saying that anyone that is owed a payout and has not violated the rules will be paid, which hopefully will be the case. But there are still examples of traders who have been denied payouts for breaking rules that aren't clearly stated. So we will see what happens with them. Yeah, that was exactly my point. Like, yeah, as long as you don't break any rules, but they have these hidden rules that they just make up. What were those like 10 flags or whatever? on the video that I made today. Yeah, that was weird. Payout denials haven't been the only issues TFT has been facing. The move from MetaTrader to Voyage Markets DX Trade caused a lot of problems. So much so that TFT has restricted new DX Trade purchases to US only, making sure new non-US traders get accounts on the more reliable C Trader platform. The problem with the TFT DX trade migration was that when users got their new DX trade accounts and started trading on them, there were consistent outages, meaning traders couldn't trade. Yeah, yeah, this was also clearly a problem. It wasn't the only prop firm facing that issue, but the most amount got issues with the funded trader for some reason. I don't know if he maybe, I don't know, made some kind of cheap version of DX trade. Maybe he cut some costs somewhere so that it wasn't per working perfectly, or it was just more amounts of people using the service because there's plenty of other firms using DX Trade without these type of big issues, you know? So some traders unfairly breached their accounts and others missed trading opportunities. For challenge accounts, TFT was quite fair with compensation, depositing 50% of the current profit target for the phase. 
and accounts that were breached during DxRay downtime were promised to be reactivated with increased balance. However, funded accounts were poorly compensated, provided with a mediocre discount code and free dragon challenges. Yeah, this one really, really bad. So funded accounts and you get like a challenge account even though it wasn't your fault at all. It was just the system like completely crashing. You lose your funded account because of that and then you get some kind of discount code for a challenge instead of your funded account back. That's, that's, that's really bad. But to give perspective, a 300k funded TFT trader would have received a 10k dragon challenge worth only $99 before discounts while the downtime could have cost them thousands of dollars. Wow, so the, if you fail the 300k account, you got a 10k account. Wow. I didn't even know. This is all new information for me. The more I'm learning about the situation, it's just the worse that it gets, literally. While an additional round of compensation was promised, and traders were allowed to vote on what to receive, this compensation was lower than the previous round, and is still yet to be sent out. All right, well, a couple of things that we can conclude from here. Obviously, it takes money to change platforms. And obviously, I guess, it takes money to set up all these new accounts and all that and change the dashboard. So the funded trader probably went a lot in the negative with that. And then obviously all these like different issues that came and well, it's a complete mess. I still wonder how these other companies don't have that issue. It's just poorly managed or maybe he took some shortcuts. I'm sure there's something that must have gone wrong. Also, TFT has removed commissions from challenge accounts for two weeks until the 5th of April. But even with this further compensation, if traders keep getting unfairly denied payouts, compensation is essentially worthless. It seems the funded trader and their partner company Eastern Tech have been carrying out mass layoffs with some ex-workers spreading warnings that things are not looking good from the inside. Yeah, guys, I got the inside information of one of those emails as well. And uh, here you can see, I must inform you on Friday, March 15th, be your final day of contract with our firm, mm -hmm. uh, blah, blah, blah. Your final details, uh, payment details will be, it is influenced by significant industry and financial pressures. Ooh, not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Anyway, let's continue. Old fired employees. Delete screenshot of the firing email. Oh, you see, yeah. It's, he's uh, literally showing the same email. It's currently navigating through a particularly challenging period. Despite Angelo tweeting that social media posts were just a coordinated attack against CFT, evidence suggests otherwise. Yes, some of the DXRAID issues were caused by factors outside TFT's control, and the rest of the industry had similar issues with the platform, and the compensation for challenge accounts was quite fair. But the main issue I have with the firm right now is that almost endless denied and delayed payouts. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, they are in serious financial trouble from the looks of it. But I wonder, I mean, they probably already were before this whole change. They were like somewhere on the edge and then something completely like knocked them out now. So yeah, it is what it is. So I recommend being cautious of buying challenges with them for the time being. So I have removed the firm from my cheat sheet. Well, great stuff, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't buy, I don't know, you would be crazy if you will buy a challenge right now with TFT. Anyway, what a great video. I mean, short, compact, but everything was in there. Very good, very good. So yeah, prop firm journalist, I haven't subscribed to you yet, but you have earned my subscription. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.